No one living in Missouri in the 1860s escaped the touch of the Civil War. Today, the lives and lifestyles of everyday Missourians are on display even 150 years after the war, which had a profound impact on what was one of the nation's most prosperous and diverse economies. The Mississippi and Missouri rivers were the state's first highways, and the riverboat captains who navigated cargo and passengers through their treacherous channels were among the wealthiest men in the Shomi State. Today, their majestic homes still stand on the bluffs of towns such as Cape Girardeau, Hannibal, and St. Joseph. Kansas City's historic river market is home to the Arabia Steamboat Museum, which boasts the largest collection of pre-Civil War era artifacts in the world. These items, recovered from the hold of the sunken steamboat, are rich in beauty as well as history. Excavated from a Kansas cornfield, the Arabia carried dishware, jewelry, fine silks from China, and perfumes from France, among other fascinating pieces of cargo. A full-scale replica of the Arabia's main deck inside the museum brings the size and strength of the steamboat to life. Kansas City is also home to the John Wardle House, once called the most pretentious house in the section. Occupied by both Union and Confederate troops and used as an emergency field hospital during the 1864 Battle of Westport, today Warnell House sits in the thriving Brookside neighborhood, much of which was built on the 500-acre Warnell Farm. Visitors today can experience the house as it existed in the 1860s, as the house's interior and furnishings accurately reflect the time period. Gardens located behind the house grow historically accurate herbs and perennials. Wernel House features many special events through the year, with special Christmas tours held annually. The state's wealth wasn't restricted to the riverways either. A central swath of Missouri, known as Little Dixie, was built on the backs of African slaves. Anderson House in Lexington was one of the grandest plantation homes of Lafayette County. Seized by federal troops for use as a hospital on September 18, 1861, the house literally found itself in the midst of a battle. Three Southern prisoners were killed at the base of the Grand Staircase, leaving bullet holes throughout the interior of the house. A cannonball shot through the attic crashed through the floor and into the hallway below, where a hole remains today. The Anderson House suffered extensive damage, but retains much of its original architecture and furniture. Just east in Boonville is Thespian Hall, one of the country's oldest theaters still in use and one that has seen its share of the gory and grisly. Built by the Thespian Society as a home for the arts, it later accommodated wounded soldiers as a hospital during the Civil War. Since then, Thespian Hall has functioned as an opera house, a library, and even as a skating rink. Boonville also retains a collection of elegant pre-Civil War era homes where wealthy Missouri slave owners once lived. For more tales from Missouri's colorful Civil War history, log on to www.visitmo.com or call 1-800-519-4800 for a copy of your official Missouri Travel Guide.